Join us for a raw and unfiltered day as we navigate a full day of physical and mental challenges on the open ocean with our all-female rookie boat crew. This sail takes us from Boracay in the Philippines to San Jose, 65 nautical miles away. A journey that will take us all day and hopefully not more because the waters in the Philippines are known for their fishing traps and inaccurate navigational charts. So tomorrow we are sailing again. Weather guy, what's the weather like? Uh, the winds are supposed to be relatively strong. So there's a likelihood of seasickness. Ah, seasickness. Our first challenge. And now I need to teach the girls how they can potentially avoid it. Stay upstairs, outside, fresh air, see the horizon. You can sleep outside. If you need to go to the toilet, close your eyes yep. and just do your thing. Come back yeah. up. <laughs> you told me now I missed the toilet. <laughs> we have yeah, motion uh -huh. sickness patches, bracelets, and pills over here. Take some. Any questions about the sale? Nada. I wish you would ask me now because tomorrow I'm not going to give you the answer to anything. I'm going to check the oil now because I already have to get up really early and I actually technically haven't learned how to do anything else for opening shift yet. This yellow one here, you pull it, <laughs> clean it, put it back, <laughs> and there, pull it back out and make sure it's between these two notches, which it is, so it's fine. <laughs> and then you check the sail drive oil, so close, closer than I've ever been. <laughs> that is down here. You do the same thing, wipe it, check. And it's between these two lines, so it's good. What does that one do? This one? That's such a good question, Laura. And then you leave this open because we love hazards on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do the same on the other side. Okay, a bit nervous to be driving over the anchor solo with both Mara and Doc staring at me. Uh, they're giving me hand signals for where the acre is, but that doesn't really mean anything to me yet. Look at them, and hopefully Doc doesn't give me wide eyes backwards, which means I'm doing something wrong. So I learned this from medicine, and that there's so many things to learn that you have to just kind of see one, do one, and teach one. So I show them once, I watch them do it once and correct them, and then I expect them to teach the rest of their crew so that they know enough to be able to teach it. We try to teach people by having them fail, basically. Because if you do something wrong, you will remember that the next time. So our philosophy is simple. See one, do one, teach one. You learn by making mistakes. And so a lot of times I'll okay. ask questions. Um, I don't know which way. I've shown them already, I don't answer. Fuck, I feel like I'm not doing this right at all. But then I was also looking at the track is okay. here. Of then, course, if something is about to go really wrong, I will help them out. I won't leave them hanging, at least not for too long. When I was up here at the helm, I was really struggling by myself, but at some point Mara came up and I really, really appreciate how yeah. encouraging and helpful she is. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. I definitely oversteer, which I get a little bit like embarrassed about when we pass other boats because I feel like they can see the boat going. I'm gonna go tie that. That's not what we want. So what was happening was that Kay forgot to run the line through this little hole that is holding the line down. So every time they would pull, it would get tangled. Uh, I can't fix it. <laughs> and I have to wrap it real quick again. Okay. If there's a wind now, we're screwed. Ooh. 
In this moment, I decided to just hold on to the line, hold all of the sail in my hand so they could untangle it and put it back into order. If it was any wind in this moment, I would never have done it. But I saw it as an opportunity to teach them a lesson so they could see what could have happened if we had strong winds. That was bad on my part. I technically knew what to do a lot of the time. However, I misaligned that gray line, which could have been pretty bad if it was even more windy, but luckily Mara's really strong and helped the line down. <laughs> However, we had full control over the situation and it was nothing to be worried about. After all that, it's time for some breakfast. And Mara is nice and lets you run down to make a quick breakfast after everything's set. So I just have cheesy eggs and untoasted bread. <laughs> Some ice coffee. Good morning. 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 I was bouncing in my bed. <laughs> so I thought I'd go. <laughs> Everybody that thinks we know what we're doing, we really don't. <laughs> so we're gonna reef the jib, and how are we gonna do that? Good question. That is. <laughs> I believe that I'm gonna get that black line over there. <laughs> <laughs> Mara's giving me a bad look. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to release the gray line. I don't need the black line. That's my final call. Is that correct? Yeah, you need the black line as well. <laughs> okay. Just going to close all the cleats because you never know. Get some muscles. Might as well get the muscles. <laughs> I need to train harder than that. Do you hear that no flapping noise? <laughs> That's what we want. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah. Because every time I do this stuff, I get confused between this line and this line. Because this is the one that we just... Mm -hmm. But what's, what does this one do? If the sail was on this side of the boat. Uh, wow, I felt so cool wrapping it up earlier. I was like, I'm totally doing something here. But I was doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's how you learn, guys. <laughs> don't be, don't be, Maybe the autopilot turned us this way because of the dolphins. <laughs> Go check if they're in the bow. <laughs> so we were chilling here, also looking around, and I saw a flag that way. So as we were chatting, I just adjusted our course a little bit and I got us to go a little bit further away from the flag, just in case. And then all of a sudden, me and Mara just see this fishing line and we were like, oh. So, boom, we wet it in neutral. No thinking was allowed. And yeah, the boat just went over and it was just this like massive fishing line, which I don't know if it's attached. There's a little boat down there, if like the boat is pulling it. Because the problem is that there wasn't a flag on this side. There was just a flag on that side. Look how close they are. Our friends over there. Have a good day. <laughs> A lot of rough waves coming in now. The water is just like coming all over the boat. While sailing, one of the common concerns is seasickness. During our first sail was when I really experienced it for the first time. Holy crap, that is a lot of water. I think it's time to close my window and migrate myself outside. However, I still had to show up for my shift and take on that responsibility. Now keep your eyes out for random fishing lines that may be around in this area. How visible was the line? Not visible. Time to turn the boat again, get back on track. That means a lot of maneuvers in a short period of time. Turn the boat, sail out, probably after the sail's out, engine's off. Try not to fall overboard because of the huge waves and also don't throw up. I did throw up. It was really hard to focus at times when all you want to do is just throw up overboard. All right, time to put the jib out and get out of the terrible feeling. But at the same time, I think that's a unique thing about sailing that makes you stronger. It's just that no matter what is happening to you or around you, you still have to have this sense of responsibility and still show up. Natalia was seasick, a lot of people were seasick, that was tough. I know I've been seasick and that's that's a really hard thing. You know, they did all right. Good stuff, bad stuff. Looking forward to see the progress. It's been a long, hard season. I'm feeling
I do really believe that days like this is what makes them stronger in the end. They come out of it, get the time to reflect a little bit, take it one step closer to becoming a sailor. So it's been this really amazing day of seeing everyone try to trust themselves on something we don't really know anything about and kind of trying to find that balance of where to push yourself and where to ask for help because of course you're doing this amazing opportunity and you don't want to let down Mara and Doc. And I'm happy that all of us had different things happen in their shift and everybody could learn something new. That being my first time sailing and being responsible for everybody's lives on the boat while me myself felt like shit. I guess like you feel a lot of pressure at the same time as well.